Well, thanks for having me today. Uh, my name is Dr. Leslie O'Dell um, from May Eye Care in Hanover, Pennsylvania, where for the past several years I've been cultivating a dry eye practice within the practice. Um, and I'm here today just to talk to you a little bit about how to make the most of your time with the dry eye patient. So the best thing to do is to employ a questionnaire at the time of check-in. Oftentimes your patients who have dry eyes are unaware of dry eye because the surface is chronically irritated, sometimes they think that that's just normal or that's the way everybody's eye feels. Um, but having that survey at the beginning really helps to start the conversation before you even enter the room. Um, the other thing that I find interesting is during my exam I often can identify a dry eye patient before they they would even complain about symptoms through fluctuating visions um, while I'm checking their refraction and with many slit lamp findings. Um, ranging from keratitis to meibomian gland dysfunction. Um, but oftentimes I'll stand back from the slit lamp and ask the patients, do your eyes feel dry? To which they'll say, no, they don't feel dry at all, they actually water. So it, it made me rethink how I approach these patients. Um, and that's where questionnaires really become very helpful within my practice to help keep the flow of patients. So re... Um, Re-examining how you ask your patients questions can also be helpful. Mrs. Johns, how often can you read at night after a long day at work? Or how long can you sit on the computer before your eyes start to fatigue? These are real world situations that your patients will identify better with than do your eyes feel like something's in them. Um, and so just getting that real world, world feel really will help you to identify your dry eye patients. The speed survey is a real quick, easy, just like its name says, way to question patients at the time of check-in. And what it looks at is the frequency and severity of their symptoms in eight easy questions. It's graded on a scale of 0 to 28. The technician or your assistant can figure out their score before they come in. And then because it's a validated questionnaire, it's repeatable. So you introduce a treatment, you have the patient come back, and you can actually see if their symptoms improved. Oftentimes, if my number is not getting better, I kind of re-examine what's going on with that patient and try to develop a better treatment plan. Um, so I really have been able to expedite dry eye care with, within my practice using a dry eye questionnaire. And I would encourage you to try to do the same. Well, thanks so much for having me today.